In this video I'm going to take a look at how you can set the drawing colour in Python when using Turtle graphics. We have looked at this computer program in the previous video and to remind you what it does I'm going to run it here and you can see that it will draw a square. Here we can see the turtle at the origin on the invisible graph that appears on the screen. And if we were to execute the program we've just observed, we will see the turtle draw out a square as shown here. The turtle moves forward, turns, turns, moves forward, turns and turns again. And there you can see it is drawing the square shape that we looked at in the previous video. Let me quickly remind you what this computer program does. This imports the turtle module so we can use the features of the turtle. This creates the instance. This sets the shape of the turtle to that of a turtle. This creates the screen and here we have a loop. And what this loop will do is execute these two lines four times. This will move the turtle forward 200. This will move the turtle to the left 90. And of course we repeat these two lines four times because that's the condition we set up on this line where the i will be 0, 1, 2, 3. It doesn't go as far as the 4. Now we've seen a fuller description of this program in the previous video. So if you're unsure about what I've just said, go back to have a look at the previous video in this playlist. Now we've just seen when this program executed it drew a square and the colour of the square was black. It drew it with black lines. Now if we want to draw the square with a different colour, let's say the colour red, then we need to amend this program. And the amendment is only the addition of one extra line. So let's have a look at a computer program that will allow us to draw the square but this time with the lines of the square being red. And here you can see the computer program and it is almost identical but it has this additional line here and what this is it's a message to the turtle telling it to change its color to the color red and what you can note here is the color is spelt the American way not the British way and here you can see in the brackets we've put red in the quotes now this will enable the drawing of the square in the same way as this one did the difference is however before we hit this loop here we set the color on the line here to red so let's move this program to one side and we'll see what happens when we execute it well the first thing we can see is the turtle has been set to the color red and if we now allow the program to run we're going to see the turtle move forward turn to the turtle's left that means rotate to the left move forward rotate left and it's rotating left 90 degrees every time it rotates and it's moving forward 200 every time it moves forward so let's have a look at the program executing and you can see it is moving forward and rotating as you would expect but have a look now and you can see the square is red the lines of the square are clearly red and before they were black when we looked at the program before we didn't set it to black black is its default if you don't specify the color it'll make the assumption that it's going to be black but if you want to change it to a different color well you've seen how to do that with the program we've looked at here you have to send a message to the turtle which effectively tells it to change its color to the color red before I move on, let's have a look at this message again. What's happening here? We're referring to the turtle and we're asking to invoke the color method that exists within the turtle. And here I'm passing in red in quotes. Of course, I could have put blue in quotes here or green or any other acceptable color to turtle graphics. Alternatively, instead of putting what effectively is a string here of words, such as red, green and blue, I can put in this position a hexadecimal number, where the hexadecimal number has a red, green and blue component. So let's have a look at a computer program that will set the turtle to the colour green, but using a hexadecimal code and you can see the program here and this is the message and it's more or less the same message as this but here you can see I sent in a word within 
the quotes with us here, you can see I'm sending in a hexadecimal number. This tells me it's a hexadecimal number. This is 00, zero this is FF, and this is 00. zero. Now this 00, zero in this position means there's no red. This FF is the biggest number we can put here. And if I was to convert that to the decimal number system, or the deanery number system as it's also known, this would be 255. Now that's the maximum amount of green we can have. Here, that's telling me we have no blue. So this hexadecimal number will give us the colour green. Now I could have equally put here, instead of this hexadecimal number, green. But I've chosen to use this hex color here and of course if you go with hex colors you can have a much larger selection of colors than continually thinking about what the word may be for the color you actually want you can put a mixture of red green and blue and do so with differing values of numbers here so you get much more shades of different colors using this approach but in all other ways both of these programs are identical the difference is only in the brackets here. So let's move this program to one side and see what happens when this one executes. We can see that in the origin we have a turtle that is now the colour green and of course we will now move the turtle according to the computer program which moves it forward and rotates it left by 90 degrees and let's see what we get. You can see we get the uh, green square. I recommend that you now enter this computer program and run it and play about with what you put in the brackets here. Change the hexadecimal numbers to different values and see what you get. And of course try some other words such as blue, such as yellow here as well and see whether you get the appropriately coloured squares. If you put here blue then obviously you're going to get a blue square. Put FF here, leave this as FF and leave this as 00. zero and see what you get. Now if you are unsure as to what these hexadecimal numbers mean, look elsewhere on this channel where I've talked about how you can generate colours in Python using hexadecimal numbers as shown here. And elsewhere again on this channel you will find what hexadecimal actually means if you're unsure with that number system. I show what hexadecimal is and I show how to convert it between decimal and hexadecimal and back again and between binary and hexadecimal and so on. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.